At this point, we will call forward to take the oath as Minister of Government, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. Ministry, which will, who will be given the responsibility for the Ministries of Sustainable Development, Environment and Climate Action, and Constituency Empowerment. Minister, the Oath of Allegiance. I, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. I, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. Do swear. Do swear. That I will faithfully bear true allegiance. That I will faithfully bear true allegiance. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. To Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Her heirs and successors. Her heirs and successors. According to law. According to law. So help me God. So help me God. The oath of office, I, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. I, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. Do swear. Do swear. That I will honor, uphold, and preserve. That I will honor, uphold, and preserve. The Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis. The Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis. And the law. And the law. That I will conscientiously, that I will conscientiously, impartially, impartially, and to the best of my ability, and to the best of my abilities, discharge my duties, discharge my duties as senator in the National Assembly, as senator in the National Assembly, and do right to all manner of people, and do right to all manner of people without fear or favor, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. And we had it there, the Senator, Dr. the Honorable Joyel Clark, the daughter of well-known Theo Clark, who is a senior sports officer working at ZIZ. He's a well-known sports commentator and hosts a sports show. Now, Dr. Clark, I am advised, has a doctorate in geography and is a teacher or was a teacher at the Kayon High School. So therefore it is not surprising that she would have such ministries as sustainable development, climate action, and the environment. She also has the portfolio of consti constituency empowerment. And the uh, University of the West Indies at Mono, Jamaica is particularly proud of Dr. Clark. They would have issued an article some time ago that mentioned that she obtained her PhD in geography in 2013 from the Department of Geography and Geology. And she was sworn in as a senator, of course, in St. Kitts and Nevis in 2015. Now, Dr. Clark is known in the region and in her home country as a strong stalwart, a youth activist, and environmental advocate and according to the article also posted here it mentioned that her the oath of allegiance i dr joyel trezia clark i dr joyel trezia clark do swear do swear that i will faithfully bear true allegiance that i will faithfully bear true allegiance to her majesty queen elizabeth ii to her majesty queen elizabeth ii her heirs and successors her heirs and successors according to law according to law so help me god so help me god let well, minister the oath of office as a minister i dr joyel trezia clark i dr joyel trezia clark do swear, do swear that I will honor, uphold, and preserve that I will honor, uphold, and preserve the Constitution of Saint Christopher and Nevis, the Constitution of Saint Christopher and Nevis, and the law, 
and the law. That I will conscientiously. That I will conscientiously. Impartially. Impartially. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. Discharge my duties. Discharge my duties. As minister in the government of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis. As minister in the government of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis. And do right to all manner of people. And do right to all manner of people. Without fear or favor. Without fear or favor. Affection or ill will. Affection or ill will. So help me God. So help me God. The oath of secrecy. I, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. I, Dr. Joyel Trezia Clark. Do swear. Do swear. That I will not on any account. That I will not on any account at any time whatsoever at any time whatsoever disclose any counsel, advice, disclose any counsel, advice, opinion or vote. Opinion or vote given by any minister of the cabinet. Given by any minister of the cabinet. And that I will not and that I will not accept with the authority of the cabinet. Except with the authority of the cabinet. And to such extent as may be required. And to such extent as may be required. For the proper conduct of the government of St. Christopher and Nevis. For the proper conduct of the government of St. Christopher and Nevis. Directly or indirectly reveal. Directly or indirectly reveal. The business or proceedings of the cabinet. The business or proceedings of the cabinet. Or any matter coming to my knowledge. Or any matter coming to my knowledge. As a member of the cabinet. As a member of the cabinet. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you very much. This one. That would have been in August of 2020, becoming a senator for the St. Kitts and Nevis Labour Party, which was in opposition at that time. And you are watching and viewing the Surinam ceremony of the new St. Kitts Nevis Labour Party cabinet here at Warner Park in St. Kitts, being shown across the region locally on ZIZ TV, also on Flow TV. And it's also broadcast on ZIZ Radio. Up next on the program, we should be having our part of the program following the swearing in. We should be having an address by the fourth Prime Minister, Dr. Terence Drew. And we've got some fine weather here right now. It was a bit overcast earlier, but as the evening winds down it's getting a little cooler at this time and just to run down the portfolios for you once again ministries of finance office of the prime minister national security Citizenship and Immigration, Health and Social Security, Prime Minister Dr. Terence Drew. Then we had the Ministries of Foreign Affairs, Economic Development, International Trade, Investment, Industry and Commerce by the Honorable, the Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas. There's also the Ministries of Public Infrastructure and Utilities, Transport, Information, Communication and Technology and the Post, the Honorable Conris Maynard. Agriculture, Fisheries, Marine Resources, Entrepreneurship, Cooperatives and Creative Economy, that goes to the Honorable Samuel Moja Duggins. Tourism, Civil Aviation and Urban Development, the Honorable Marsha Henderson, Attorney General, Justice and Legal Affairs, went to Attorney General Garth Welkin. And we just had Senator, the Honorable Joyal Clark. She was given you. Remember the ministries for Joyal? 
Yes, so it was the ministries for the honor, the doctor, the honorable Joyelle Clark. She had the Ministry of Climate Action, Sustainable Development, the Environment, and Constituency Empowerment.